Hey, how's everyone doing? Today I wanted to talk to you about what's going on with limited run games. They got involved in a controversy. The like as we can see in this headline, trans activist gets one fire from video game company for a kind of following Iron Man Xiang leaves subjective on Twitter. A man get a woman fired. A video game company called Limited Run Games fired Caroline because some nudged got offended over the fact that she follows me on lips of TikToks, exclaimed Ian Miles Chiang on, on her Twitter profile. On his Twitter profile, sorry. On Friday, the video game company Limited Run Games fired their community manager, a woman named Caroline after a far-left man using the name Purple Tinker demanded the company either fire Lynn because she followed with conservative users on Twitter such as Iron Mouse Chion and Lips of TikTok or lost their support. There is no news. The far-left has been pushing their agenda on attacking the right on even yet they are being infiltrated and infesting any sort of entertainment when it comes to movies, shows, cartoons, video games specifically and I really like video games but more and more they just keep pushing their agendas about transgenderism, wokeness, far leftism Feminist is getting out of control, honestly. Iron Mansion said a video game company called Mr. Rongens fired Caroline. And if we check up Twitter, a video game company, as uh, uh, we say, we I say in in the news. We can see some of the screenshots they recorded. Sorry. The community manager for limited room games, Colin is a transport who follows variable who's who's of right when you could you can guess already what kind of person this guy is. Only because she was following an account from as we, we, you could say conservative people oh, and that's the only excuse a one person got a woman fired only because of her political beliefs and I, I, as we can see here limited run games bend at the knee LRG respects all personal opinions However, we may committed to supporting an inclusive culture upon investigating a situation, an employee was terminated. Our goal as a company is to continue to foster a positive and safe environment for anyone. Well, it's not safe, it's not positive if you fire a woman only because she has some political and ideological beliefs. Well, that's, that's what it is. As we can see in this news, according to an Observer article from 2012, Portal Tilker is a, well, it's a male, obviously, an activist who founded Bronicon, a convention for adult men who like to dress as characters from the children's television show My Little Pony. And uh, now uh, uh, I... I remember hearing this guy try to abduct, sorry, or ad kidnap uh, a girl which uh, she was 10 years old in one of those conventions. Uh, man, this is messed up. The, uh, I don't know why Limit of Rock Games decided to bend in the knee, but uh, why they keep he listening to these 
mentally ill person, this deranged nutjob who only want to destroy every sort of entertainment that we have. That's that's a legitimate question I I ask because more and more I see these these behaviors within the U.S. and in a lot of on other countries when it comes to promoting their far left agenda and in this tweet Melanie Mac. In his Twitter, she posted, This is a mess up. Caroline is an amazing and deserves murder. Shame on you. Limited run games. Mac added in alert, in alert to tell you do not respect all personal opinions, else this decision will not happen. If you were committed to an inclusive culture, you wouldn't have a Christian woman for her beliefs. And that's true. That's absolutely true. And even, even further in this situation, this is the person who got a woman fired from limited romance because of her concern for the safety of females against incognito predators in female restrooms. Let that sink in. Yeah. Just looking at his face, his eyes, especially I always see it when it comes to these mentally ill nudges, the, the eyes show dementia at full extent. And a furry and a p-word, a p-ophile. Uh, I don't know when is going to be enough when is going to be when people actually just rise up and just stop listening to this to these people uh, like for example another case is Howard's legacy. Uh, you, uh, again, a man complaining about a new Harry Potter game. It, why are it, it's coming out this year? Only because J.K. Rowling, the author of Harry Potter, expressed political beliefs even it comes to transgenderism and as we can see again Brianna Wu a guy with a I don't know if he a wig or he actually put the effort in in, in hurting hair in his head but that's what it is another man Mentally ill men attacking a woman. They hate women that much, especially if they are Christians. Disgraced gamer get personality and failed congressional candidate Brianna Wu. Well, can congressional candidate. Ah oh, man, took to Twitter to announce that if you vote upcoming. Games Hogwarts Legacy based on develop Harry Potter children's book by award-winning author J.K. Rowling. You don't care about trans dignity enough to sacrifice for them. Look at these demands. They're, they're insane. You can rationalize with these people. You can speak to them. You, you actually can. They don't they don't want a conversation, they just want to preach their nonsense. And as far as I know, even if that game 
este main creative director or art director if I'm not mistaken he bent any for the transgender crowd by making changes in the character design and or editor only because they were demanding it he he complied and even that it wasn't enough only because their unfounded hate to, towards J.K. Rowling mm, let me know what you think this is so messed up man <laughs>